Hello everybody, welcome to Crypto Sense, your source for some crypto common sense. Uh, it can be a dangerous place out there. Um, so we get together to try and figure out what's going on in this mad world. Okay, so um, I had a bit of a request for a Monero V uh, video, so I thought I'd bring that out tonight um, as I'm banging out the videos at the moment. Um, so here we are, uh, Monero, MoneroV.org, I'll put the link in the description. Um, but yeah, so we've got a Monero uh, hard fork coming up. So of course Monero is famous because it's one of the, well it's the original privacy coin. It's been going for a long time, um, it's pretty secure. There are a large number of Monero, if I'm not mistaken. Let me just try and find it on, on here we go. So... At the minute we're on 15 million, not sure what the total supply is going to be, but the current circulating supply is 15 million, which is low, um, which is a low number for a lot of these cryptos. Bitcoin of course is going to go up to 21 million, I think we're currently at around 16 million. Um, so Monero is not far off that current circulating supply. Um, I have heard that Monero V is also a finite coin, which is great. Um, it's what you want in a uh, in this uh, or in, in in your economics. Really, uh, there are reasons for it. Um, you know, we're currently undergoing an absolutely un. We've never seen anything like it in the history of economics in terms of quantitative easing. Uh, it's having all sorts of effects on the markets. Um, anyway, we'll save that for another another one. So what we got? Um, we got 38 days countdown. We've got a roadmap of white paper. We'll be looking at those. Um, all Monero holders as a block 1529801 will own themselves some Monero V. We've spoken about that. We've taken a very preliminary look. So what we've got here? Um, we got the split in March, wallet released in June 2018 and a web wallet release also. Um, we've got a Bignum fix, limit for all dependencies, we'll look into that. Proof of work exchange, uh, proof of work change, does that mean it's moving to a proof of stake from a proof of work or we'll have a look into that. And the Mimblewimble implementation, which I've also heard about and we will go into. So, um, we've got the specs here. What we've got, circulating supply hard for 158 million XMV for 10 times circular XMR. So, they're releasing 10 times the amount of Monero. So, there will be 10 times the amount of Monero V as there are Monero, implying that the price will be significantly lower than the Monero price. Um, proof of work at on release to be changed, I'd imagine, to proof of stake. Um, okay. Difficulty retarget every block, so they're adjusting the difficulty for difficulty um, on each block uh, after the airdrop. There's debates to be had about that. Uh, the block time is every 120 seconds, so quick blocks, and a, and there's going to be a smooth decrease on the block rewards, with a minimum of six Monero V per block. Okay. Uh, so the block size is dynamic; it changes with a maximum of two megabyte. Is that? I'll look into that. And we've got the privacy features, which Monero is famous for too. So here we go. So it's an airdrop. Uh, Monero holders will receive 10 times the holdings in Monero V. Um, okay. Okay, how is it different? Da, da, da. Right. Yes, you do automatically re receive Monero V if you have Monero, 10 times the amount. What does it offer? 
advanced privacy coin with extra add-ons, more governance, less spam, and botnet mining. Of course, Monero's recently been in the limelight as one of the coins used uh, with the uh, bots. So basically, uh, what people have been doing uh, is sending out viruses embedded in files um, and when those files are opened they release uh, viruses which mine uh, which mine CPUs and GPUs of whoever whoever opened the virus I guess and this is an attempt it looks like uh, to kind of get some sort of control on that um, as I say you know it's a bit of a wild west out there at the minute um, it's a new technology you know the infrastructure is still being developed people will take advantage of vulnerable um, elements so the development team works on several key features such as the Mimblewimble protocol integration sidechain support spam elimination and more right well, we'd like to see a bit more about this Mimblewimble so we've had a look at the roadmap is this a more detailed roadmap Um, create a decentralized environment in which professional pr developers chosen by community enhance, simplify, and develop Monero V to scale for mass use. Sounds good. The original Monero vision was to create private digital currency, have a conservative centralized core of few and slow development process when new using technologies were being incorporated. Fair. A more uh, rapid development process based on bounty programs that are now new people around the world to participate will potentially make Monero V the first private digital currency used by millions of people with open, endless development possibilities. In addition, Monero V will adhere to core Austrian school of economic principles. I like. By capping the total Monero V coins that can be created. Exactly. Very good. So there is a cap. Parting with Monero's infinite coin supply structure. So that answers that one. So one of the main differences in that case will be the finite supply, unlike Monero's, which has an infinite coin supply, as well as the centralized team. So two great things there. I am looking forward to finding out this Mimble Wimble. Um, okay. So right. Okay, so Mimblewimble integration is coming to Monero V. It turns out, the reason I'm going on about this is because I specifically asked about Mimblewimble. And if you ask me something, I will try and find out for you. Um, but So basically, it is the privacy, it's a privacy feature. Looks like it hasn't been bought to Monero, or it's not coming out with Monero V it's a, in the future development section. They are also trying to develop uh, Mimblewimble into the Bitcoin protocol at some point in the future. So, something to look out for. It's a privacy. I've also heard that they're trying to get, is, it, is Z snarks with Ethereum or they're trying to get into Bitcoin? Anyway, privacy is trying to be integrated into Bitcoin because at the minute, of course, it's pseudonymous, i.e. they have your, your wallet number without any attached details. So, if someone finds out your wallet number, they can track that. Um, online. Here is the confirmation. It is proof of work um, that they will be moving to uh, proof of work modification, i.e. they're moving from proof of work to uh, proof of stake um, and they're coming out with side chains. So here's a direct comparison um, between Monero V and Monero. So first up coin supply. Um, it's going to have 256 million not too bad on Monero V with the uh, infinite Monero supply not too fantastic um, that is essentially uh, an inflationary um, currency there where as time goes on each Monero will be worth less and less at the minute of course we're seeing prices increase because so much money is coming into the space but once you know we've peaked in terms of money coming in that will not serve Monero too well, whereas a finite supply, a finite uh, cap on supply is is desirable, which is of course what Bitcoin has with the 21 million. 
So coins in circulation at the hard fork, of course, you've got 10 times the amount of Monero, like we've spoken about, uh, being airdropped into, coin, uh, into Monero V wallet holders. Um, so you'll be receiving 10 times the amount of Monero V as you hold Monero. Um, so looking like there's going to be a smooth emission decline with a 6 Monero V minimum, whereas uh, there's a 0.6 Monero minimum. I guess that makes sense with the uh, 10 to 1 ratio going on there. Um, same block interval, same difficulty adjustment, and the same proof of work algorithm. So there you go. Um, there are more details uh, on this document, but I don't want to be here all night. The video is already 10 minutes long. Uh, so let's have a quick browse of the white paper. Um, I will be going over this in a lot more detail after the video. If I see anything notable, I'll bring it to you in the next video, of course. Uh, if you've got any questions, um, then please do get in touch. Um, any suggestions, uh, any advice, any feedback, again, uh, do send me an email if you'd like a crypto consultation. It's uh, cryptocrystalball at gmail.com. Um, all the information and links will be in the description below. Um, please hit the like, subscribe, share, do what you've got to do. Show your appreciation if you appreciate what is uh, being shared here. I will um, be back very soon with uh, with another video. I've already had some great suggestions, um, some Bitcoin beginner videos, how to get hold of Bitcoin, how to store Bitcoin, what Bitcoin is. Um, so if you're a, if you're an old hand, then look out for the news analysis and the price analysis. Otherwise, if you're new uh, to the space, then I'll be bringing out some videos just for you. Uh, so keep an eye out for those. Um, thanks a lot. Till next time.